Country Hands. Thank you for joining me on my channel today. Today's video is going to be a eight week update on how baby Hunter is doing and how I'm doing eight weeks postpartum. Mackenzie is playing in the background, so if you hear her, sorry about that. It's been a little difficult to try to film with two under two lately. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, thank you for joining us. My name's Katie and I do motherhood and lifestyle videos. I have a eight week old son named Hunter and a two, almost two year old daughter named Mackenzie. I do new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So please subscribe if you like this video and hit the notification bell so you don't miss whenever I post a new video. I am going to start with how baby Hunter is doing and just an update on him. Can you say hi? Say hi. He's looking at the light. So Hunter is doing well. We're both doing good. Hunter was about 12 pounds at his doctor's appointment on Monday. What are you doing? Mackenzie's riding her horse in the background. Say hi. Wave. Say hi. He's doing really great. He started smiling and like trying to laugh, not really laughing out loud, but laughing and doing a little bit of like the baby, baby talk, like babbling and cooing. About two weeks ago, he started doing that. We went to see my grandmother to let her meet him for the first time. He started doing that, the baby talk to her. When she met him and was talking to him, which made it really special that he started doing that uh, with her in front of her. And he's been doing the smiling and laughing for a few weeks, but he's really started doing it more the last week or so. He loves to be cuddled and to be held. He's not really a very happy camper if he's not being held, which is a problem uh, because you can't get very much done if you have to hold him all the time, which I love holding him. I wish I didn't have anything else I had to do so I could just hold him all day. But he, he's definitely a cuddler. Uh, Justin and I and Mackenzie all love to cuddle and we're very um, affectionate type people so I feel like he is going to be the same. He loves to play with daddy. He thinks daddy's so funny whenever he talks to him and plays with him. And he loves to be bounced. So you know whether you're like holding him and bouncing him or bouncing him on your leg. He loves that. And he loves to sit up. You just have to help hold his head up and he loves to look around and of course look at the lights. He's currently wearing zero to three months or three months clothing. So all of a sudden he, he stayed in the newborn size longer than Mackenzie ever did, but all of a sudden he gained weight super fast in like a week. So he is a little bit of a chunky monkey, but we're okay with him eating a little more right now, if that's what makes him feel better. He also loves to sit in the bath with me. And I will get him and just kind of sit him in my lap and he loves that. I guess it's just like kind of calming and relaxing for them, like, you know, like baths are for us as well. Hi, baby. So he's still nursing about every two hours. I don't really time it because it's usually sooner than every two hours. He has gotten better about eating more and longer. Uh, before I was having trouble breastfeeding with him just because he would eat for like a minute or two at most and then be hungry again in like 30 minutes. So he has gotten better about eating more and for a longer period of time which helps him not eat as often but it's still pretty often. So he has been eating about every two hours. We've been doing really good with the breastfeeding. The only problem is he's not really wanting to take breast milk bottles which he's going to have to start doing because I am going back to work in about a month. So you know, my mom is going to have to be able to feed him and Justin's going to have to be able to feed him. We have left him twice now with my mom and for a couple hours and he did eat a little bit. I guess if he gets hungry enough, he will eat. We've tried a bunch of different bottles to see if that was maybe the problem. Mackenzie breastfed and took breast breast milk bottles very easily right away. Hopefully he'll be hungry enough and ends up taking it whenever I go back to work. 
but I am going to start trying to work with him a little bit more on it before then just because I'm going to be worried about him. And he, we have been trying to encourage him to take a passy just because it really does help with Mackenzie. Uh, I know it's going to be difficult to break her passy habit now that, especially now that she wants to have a passy all the time right now, but it really does help with her sleeping, I feel like, and whenever she's upset or in the car and upset, it's just nice to be able to give them something to comfort them. So I wish that he would take a passy, but so far he's not wanting to, right? Oh, he's smiling. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <gasps> Who is that baby? Can you see yourself? Who is that baby? Is that baby Hunter? Oh. His colic and GI issues have gotten a little bit better slowly. The pediatrician recommended we go see a GI specialist, so we went this week and saw a GI specialist. So the GI specialist thinks that he is suffering from infant dyskesia, I think is how you pronounce it. I will put the words up on the screen. And basically, from my understanding, it is he is holding in his gas and having to poop. A lot of times it happens because the infant passes gas or goes poop for the first couple of times and it scares them when they're a newborn and they decide, well, I don't want to do that anymore, that was scary, so they start trying to hold it in, which causes more gas, it causes pain, and it causes them just to be very uncomfortable. So he thinks he's suffering from that more so than acid reflux. He is on Nexium, which is an antacid from his pediatrician. And my husband and I really think that that has helped because before we saw the GI specialist, he was starting to get a little bit more comfortable after being on the Nexium for a couple weeks. The GI specialist said that it's actually pretty uncommon for babies to have acid reflux. So he doesn't think that he's suffering from that, but he wanted to keep him on the Nexium, the antacid for a little while longer since it does seem to be helping. And then we slowly might wean him off of it and see how he does. I, think that he does have the condition that the GI specialist had said, but I also kind of think that he might have acid reflux as well. I'm not a doctor by any means, but he just, he does have these episodes where he just seems to be like gagging on acid or something, but he's not spitting up or throwing up. I know that it is normal for babies to spit up, but he doesn't ever spit up. It's just like he gets something in his mouth and then like re-swallows it and he does that after like it'll wake him up sorry mackenzie's playing in the background i'm having a really hard time distracting her while doing this video i just i think it's a combination i think he's a little bit colicky because he is worse at night which i know that's typically what happens with colic and i think he might have a little bit of the acid reflux mainly because the nexium seemed to help and I do think he has that condition that the GI specialist had said. The specialist recommendation was to, whenever he gets fussy and uncomfortable, to work on the bicycle legs and pushing his legs up towards his chest and put him in like a squatting position because he can't really hold going poop or passing gas if he is in those positions. So I've been doing that this week. I haven't really noticed a big difference with it helping him. He's still pretty fussy, but he's definitely better than he was like a month ago. A month ago, if he wasn't asleep or nursing, he was screaming, crying, grunting, like in pain, um, just very uncomfortable. So he is getting better, which is great. I hate seeing him upset and uncomfortable like that. It's awful watching your babies go through something like that and you're trying to help them but there's not a whole lot that, else that you can do. So after doing the exercises for two weeks, he wants me to call him, the GI specialist does, and give him an update. If we're doing any better or about the same, he might want to start adding dairy back into my diet or start weaning him off of the Nexium. And if we're doing worse, he said that we can try some other things. I was 
I was happy that he didn't just want to go ahead and do a bunch of testing. I was really worried that they were going to want to do a scope or start doing like invasive uh, diagnostic type testing. Since he is slowly getting better, my husband and I want to hold off on doing anything invasive or anything like that right now. All in all, we're doing really well. He's doing good. It's just been a little bit of an adjustment to try to navigate these GI issues and and just get to know his personality a little bit because um, obviously every baby is different. Mackenzie was very different than he is, which there's nothing wrong with that. Mackenzie was just a very calm baby. She slept pretty good. She was pretty comfortable most of the time. So I'm just hoping that we can get Hunter more comfortable so that he's happier and hopefully get his sleep a little better so that mommy can get some more sleep. So happy he's here and part of our family and Mackenzie's obsessed with him. She loves him so much. She is a little bit too rough with him so we do have to watch her and be pretty careful. But she loves him so much. I can't wait for them to him to be older so that they can play together and we won't have to worry as much about her accidentally hurting him. I will say that having two under two and just having a toddler and a newborn was way more difficult than I thought it would be. It has been challenging, but so rewarding at the same time. I love my kids and I wouldn't change anything, obviously, but there are some days that are a little bit hard whenever they both need my attention and I also have to get stuff done around the house and just do daily things and it has been challenging but we're starting to get into a routine and find our groove so I just try to remember that these moments aren't going to last forever this is a temporary stage and you know they're both going to grow up so fast I can't believe it in a couple weeks Mackenzie will already be two years old it flies by so I'm just trying to embrace this stage and soak up every moment I have with them while they're little while he's a newborn and she's an almost two year old so getting into how I'm doing I'm doing really well my hyperemesis symptoms are still gone I don't have nausea and vomiting or anything like that going on uh, so in that aspect, I'm doing very good. I've also gotten back all the feeling pretty much in my foot, which I'm so thankful for. If you've been following along, I even a couple weeks ago didn't have a lot of feeling in my left foot from effects of the epidural and anesthesia from my C-section, which was really upsetting and frustrating because I wasn't able to walk very well. I didn't have any feeling for the first couple weeks and it was extremely hard to walk around and get around. The doctor said that it's very uncommon but it does happen and when I went to see her for my six weeks postpartum checkup she said that most people are better by six weeks so she did want me to go see a neurologist if things didn't slowly get better in the next few weeks. But the last couple weeks have been really good. I have started getting a lot more feeling back. I have pretty much all the feeling back except for like my pinky toe and going down my toe on that side of my, that edge of my foot is still a little bit numb. It's tingly and it's starting to get better. I can tell day by day, thank goodness, because I was really upset about it. It, it, it does still hurt to put weight on my foot if I stand for very long, like more than 10-15 minutes, it does start to hurt. I think I'm just going to have to get used to it. I don't know if that just it's the nerves healing or what's going on, but it is getting better, which I'm so grateful. Also, along with the numb foot, I was having some bladder issues where I wasn't having the urge to pee at all. If I didn't remember to pee, I could go all day or go a couple of days without it. I never felt like I had to pee. Uh, the one thing that would start happening was if my bladder was too full, I would start, my incision would start hurting and I'd kind of start getting like cramps. And I remember, oh my gosh, I haven't peed all day and go pee and it would be a ton that I needed to empty my bladder. The doctor said that that had to do with the nerve damage from the anesthesia as well. That 
you know, my bladder and my foot. It's both uh, neurological nerve type stuff. Or it's about the same time that my foot stopped being numb is I started having that urge to have to go pee again. My incision is doing a lot better. It hurts off and on. It mainly hurts if McKenzie accidentally pushes on it or something like that happens. But for the most part, it's not too uncomfortable anymore and it's healing up really well. I am trying to not get mastitis again. A couple days ago, I started feeling like I might be getting it again. And I know that once you've had mastitis once, it's much more likely for you to get it again. So I've been really trying to stay on top of pumping if he's not eating a ton. What? Are you telling us about it? If he's not eating a ton, I'm trying to pump more. Or even after he eats, I'm trying to use the hand pump just to get my breast completely emptied so that we're not getting mastitis again because that was awful and I just don't want to be sick again. I debated on whether or not to share this with y'all, but I really do want to be open and honest on my channel. And since this is a postpartum eight week update, I did want to include it. I have been struggling with uh, postpartum depression and anxiety since having Hunter. I talked to my doctor at the six week appointment and she said, Six weeks out, it's not really considered postpartum depression anymore. It's not that it's not normal, but it's just not really postpartum anymore. It's just actual depression. So she did recommend I get on a low dose antidepressant. So I am taking Zoloft at a very low dose, and I have been for about three weeks now. I just have been having a hard time. I didn't really have this hard of a time with McKinsey. I did have a little bit of baby blues and maybe some mild postpartum depression, but it got better. And I had a little bit of anxiety about just being a new mom and going back to work with her, but it wasn't like this with McKinsey. So I am glad that I opened up to my doctor about it. And I do think that the antidepressant is helping a little bit. I just feel down and the things that usually bring me joy, I'm just not really looking forward to and I'm not very motivated to do things. I do have some things that have attributed to that, um, you know, me having some medical issues postpartum, I believe, you know, being sick with mastitis and my foot and all that stuff, I do think contributed to it. I think that having a baby during all this uh, stuff that's going on right now with COVID also contributed to it because we're not able to go see family and friends and we're not able to have a ton of visitors to come meet the new baby. So I think that adds to it. Really did struggle with not being able to go to my best friend's wedding. That has added to it. It's hard for me to talk about, but um, my um, grandfather passed away about two weeks ago unexpectedly. He, um, he had a fall and then he had a stroke and I was close with my grandfather and it's just been very hard for me dealing with that and it also makes it hard because he wasn't able to meet Hunter. My grandmother and him were being very careful with everything going on and trying to stay just at home and social distance so he was not able to meet Hunter before he passed away and I hadn't been able to go see him in a few months. So it's just been a hard time um, dealing that, with that and handling that. So there's a bunch of different things that have happened that I think are contributing to my depression. If you are going through postpartum depression or just depression in general, just don't be ashamed and don't be afraid to ask for help and be upfront and honest with your loved ones about it because it's so important to talk about and not feel alone because if you're going through depression, it's already lonely. So if you're keeping it to yourself, it just can become really dangerous. And I know about that in my past. I've been depressed and dealt with depression just on my own and didn't seek help. And it is much, much worse if you do that. So if anybody needs somebody to talk to, please leave a comment. I would love to talk to you or give you any kind of support that I can.
I also have just been feeling lonely. I, I know whenever Mackenzie was a newborn, I felt lonely as well. It's just a different stage of life that you're going through and you're up a lot, you're up a lot at night. So it's just different and it just is an adjustment. I need to find some more mommy friends. I do have a great mommy friend that I met through the Peanut app. We do do play dates typically uh, once or twice a month. We were trying to do them before all this social distancing started, but since that started, we haven't seen each other since then, which has been hard. We do chit chat a little bit here and there through texts and stuff, but it's not quite the same as being able to get the girls together and hang out with another mom. I'm looking forward to all the social distancing getting better, hopefully, so that we can meet up and do our play dates again. Another positive thing that is going on is I'm losing more weight because I am dairy free. I never realized how much dairy Justin and I eat, so I have been able to lose a little bit more weight by being dairy free. I haven't been exercising. My doctor had said to hold off on the exercising for now except for just walking until my foot started feeling better just because that could be dangerous if you're not able to feel your foot to be really working out. Anybody that knows me though knows I'm not a workout person. I would like to get in better shape just to have more energy and be able to keep up with my kids and just feel all over better but I'm not somebody that's really into fitness so I have been able to lose some weight just eating healthier and cutting out the dairy and breastfeeding I still have a little bit of a of a tummy kind of pooch I've heard that after a c-section it's a little bit harder to get rid of that but I am happy with how my postpartum body is going especially without working out I'm gonna share with y'all my postpartum belly a little bit of a pooch but not too bad anyway I just wanted to give y'all an update on how we're doing and all in all we're doing great we're extremely blessed to have these cute kiddos and be able to be their parents and I am loving mommy life of having two babies it's just a little bit challenging sometimes but we're hanging in there and we're trying to soak up every moment I am going to include some clips of Hunter but I am going to go ahead and end the talking portion of the video now since he's getting fussy. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Continue watching for some cute clips of Hunter though. Also, I did want to mention we are going to do a YouTube live on August 15th at 2 p.m. for Mackenzie's second birthday. We're going to do a live video for her little birthday party because of all the social distancing we are not having a traditional party we are gonna have a youtube live of her opening some gifts and enjoying cake and just a little portion of her birthday party so please stay tuned for that i will do a reminder but august 15th at 2 p.m for mackenzie's second birthday party thank you for watching please subscribe keep watching for videos of hunter Love your brother. Hi. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Who is Life that? Is, is that a baby hunter? Who is that? No telling where it goes. Say hi. Driving through days and Give nights. Give him kisses. Won't stop oh. for traffic lights. Gentle. Good girl. Nice. Oh, He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. <laughs> Even if I'm falling down, down, I will down. keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we 
get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, I'll never figure ah. out Oh, good one, there we go Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down I put 